seeing that you promoted a lot of great fighters, you're also promoting Xander Zayas, who seems to be a, this amazing phenom, prospect of the year, um, you know, rising star, only at the age of 19, not even 20, facing a, a really good opponent. What's your thoughts on his fight? Yeah, well, we are, I've always been very high on Xander. From the time we signed him as a 16-year-old, and when he was 16, 17, only he could fight in certain places. But we felt that we had a big future boxing superstar. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully, uh, uh, the fight Saturday will be another step along that road. At the media workout, he did his imitation of Miguel Cotto, it's like movement and things like that. It was pretty cool to see now you're going from now Miguel to now Xander. And well, we had a great time promoting Miguel Cotto. Uh, been nice recently uh, to have seen him a number of times, a number of occasions. Miguel was a great, is a great person, and was a great fighter. Uh, hopefully, Xander will have the same kind of success. And, and going with other great fighters, I, I know that it, it doesn't seem like it's real, but the Tyson Fury Chisora three, I know he's probably having some fun. I just wanted to hear from the big boss man that that's just joking, right? Online playing. Tyson Fury gets up in the morning and figures out what he can say <laughs> to bring attention to himself, like Ali did. Yeah. Same thing. So I get a kick out of it. Right now, Tyson is in Iceland mm -hmm. looking for this big giant in Iceland who was in Games of Thrones yeah. that he wants to do a fight or an exhibition with God knows what. Yeah. But again, by next week, next Saturday, when Usyk and Joshua fight, uh, that everything will become clearer. And, and we'll, we'll hear from that point possibly what could happen to the heavyweight. Exactly.